Did you know the River Don once teamed with salmon? Right here, downstream of Sheffield city centre, this stretch of river may have been a key spawning ground for the salmon, which had been absent from the River Don for over 200 years. Today we're working to restore its natural processes and bring back wildlife to this historic waterway as part of our project, Wilder Salmon Pastures. Thanks to collaborative efforts of various organisations, including private, charitable and government agencies, the River Don now supports a thriving fishery. Excitingly, we're starting to see signs of a recovering Atlantic salmon population. This incredible progress is largely due to improved water quality and the removal of barriers to migration, either through the installation of fish passes or the removal of weirs. While our work benefits all species within the catchment, we have also undertaken projects specifically designed to support Atlantic salmon and European eel. These species are iconic indicators of river health and their survival depends on unimpeded migration and diverse, high quality habitats. Nestled in the industrial heart of Attercliffe, Salmon Pastures is a peaceful wooded corridor from a five years walk that seemingly contrasts with its urban surroundings. However, this section of river has been heavily engineered over time. Its course was likely modified to accommodate the nearby canal and other infrastructure, with natural features removed for flood risk management. This has resulted in a flat, featureless riverbed bordered by reinforced banks, hindering the river's natural processes and making it difficult for wildlife to thrive. Thanks to funding from Yorkshire Water and the Environment Agency, we've introduced key interventions to rejuvenate the stretch of River Don. With support from local contractors, the River Stewardship Company, one of our major improvements has been the installation of four boulder clusters, a challenging task given such an urban location. These clusters mimic natural processes. During high water levels, the boulders create turbulence, scouring, sorting and depositing riverbed sediments like cobbles and gravels. This process helps form spawning areas for fish, such as salmon and trout, whilst also providing refuges for fish to shelter from strong floodwaters that could otherwise wash them into unsuitable habitats, such as seawater. Here's how the reach looked before our work. And here's how it looks now. Once hatched, young fish in a healthy river require shelter to protect them from predators such as goosanders and kingfishers. In a natural setting, trailing vegetation along the banks would provide this cover. However, at salmon pastures, the mature woodland lacks a diverse understory and the walls limit opportunities for vegetation to establish naturally. To address this, we felled some mature trees and anchored them in along the riverbank using metal cables. These anchored trees provide crucial shelter for fish and trap leaves and organic material, which serve as food for river invertebrates, a vital link in the food chain. Additionally, we use a technique called tree hinging, where volunteers laid young willow trees into the water. These trees continue to grow, creating dense vegetation that provides further cover for fish and other wildlife. These efforts are part of a broader mission to restore the River Don ensuring it remains a thriving habitat for wildlife and a cherished part of our natural heritage. Together, we can create a flourishing river system that future generations can be proud of. Visit our website to learn more and discover how you can get involved with this vital work.